It's a little while ago. Um, there was a show. I believe it was called The Tiger King. Off of that show came a phrase for a specific type of person. A Karen. Many of us already know what this is. But why is it the further in we go, further away we go off of that particular time span, it just feels like the more Karens are built. How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another... We might as well just call this a rant. Also, forgot to do this. I could see the TV reflecting off of my face, so I was like, oh, yeah, probably should turn that off. But anyway, I digress. Karens are all over the place nowadays, and the further in we go, the more pathetic it becomes. In the world where there's good, where there are good people, there are also bad people to the same level. Hopefully that makes sense. Where I live, this is the case. In other locations, this is the case. Nowadays, though, it just... The further away we go from where this originated, it just feels like reason's just flying out the window and it doesn't exist anymore. Logic? Gone. Reason? Gone. And now when I say this, everyone has their different levels of reasoning and logistics. But some people just don't. They just don't. There are some people out there, and this does bug me as well, there are some people out there who do think of some degree of logic and reasoning, but don't fully think of every possible factor. And that actually does bother me as well. Now, not every topic requires multiple factors of reasoning. Not every topic requires more than one piece of logic to it. And under those circumstances, it's completely understandable how people would think this way. But I have been, in my life, outside of doing the YouTube stuff at my day job, I do come across people, more often than not, unfortunately, who do think the way that bugs me. Where they literally think, oh, okay, I've got this one piece of evidence, that means you're in the wrong for this, 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 this. And my brain goes, yeah, okay, show me more evidence. That's not concrete evidence, that's circumstantial evidence kind of thing. And I'll have like four, five, six pieces of circumstantial evidence making it way more feasible than what these other people would say. And the other people still stick with their original statement. In my mind, that's... Every time somebody does that, that's like a Karen. Or, if it's a male, I like to call him a Kevin, just because it balances out. But, for the sake of the video, I'll stick with just the term Karen. In the world, there are several individuals who are considered Karens. Some of them, eh, kind of have changed their ways by the time the term Karen came around. Others didn't really act this way until after the term started. For example, one of the ones that existed, and I find this funny, I'm pretty sure at this point that family would probably find it funny too. I don't recall exactly what um, native this individual was. I think she was Irish. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But, and for those who might see this from Ireland and say otherwise, I apologize. I'm not trying to mean any offense or anything. That's why I'm trying to be cautious about how I go about it. I think the woman, although, and, and same for Scottish as well for what I'm about to say, but this, I think this woman was either Irish or Scottish, but I don't know. Um, 
That might be 100% wrong. In that case, sorry to the two, isn't it? Uh, to the two natives. Uh, anyway, it was like this meme where a mother was asking her two daughters who didn't flush after taking a dump. And basically said that it was disgusting. No, those are the exact words she said, actually. And the response that she was giving, it just felt irrational. It felt naive how it was being approached. And that's kind of just a reminder of how Karens are to me. That is what a Karen is. Now, by the time this was well known, everything had changed. The person had changed uh, ideals. Uh, probably by now that person's probably just laughing at it as a, in like a past thing. But regardless, that's kind of one example. Another example of a Karen I, I feel like every individual in the U.S. who has a tendency to not look at every detail of logic and go off of their one idea, whether it's hallucinogenic or not, if it's a delusion or if it's actually realistic, if it's just off of one thing, it just doesn't really... A lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time when it's just off of one teeny tiny factor, and then they just create the entire story off of hallucinations and delusions, does, and I don't mean the medical hallucinations or delusions, that would just be downright offensive. I mean like the metaphorical, in a metaphorical way. Um, those kind of people well, that's naive. That's a Karen. I have had this happen to me before where I live uh, with a past individual who I don't even talk to anymore because they did this so frequently. Is this someone who's been um, involved in the channel in any kind of way? No. In fact, I don't even think anybody on the channel who has been either featured on the channel who helps build the channel, like, as a, what would be considered an employee, like Amber, or, um, let's be honest, Aaron, uh, if, trust me, if I had the money to be able to pay them for this kind of thing, and pay them enough to do this, I, I would, but I don't even get paid for this, because it's not even a job at this point. I treat it like one, but it's not one. Anyway, I digress. They don't even know these specific individuals but Karen's nonetheless Karen's are just they're not every time I cross one I'm like okay that's your claim well where's the proof there is a reason I started saying that actually and ironically it was a year after the Tiger King came out, where my brain started turning into this person who was like, where I started turning to this person who was like, okay, if you can't show me enough evidence, what you're claiming is flawed. Everyone who I'm related to, including Amber, always is able to do this. And I mean, thank heavens for that too. I'd be shocked if they weren't, knowing how, what kind of people they are. But outside of that, There is one exception. Now, there are Karens. There is one exception to what I'm talking about, though. Paranoiacs. Paranoiacs can act a bit naive. And they can say these kind of things. But unlike a Karen, paranoiacs at least have some type of reason that makes sense. That, in a way, would be considered evidence. Recently, uh, my dad and I had a conversation and my dad, he responded in a way he didn't sound too happy. And I mean, he said he claimed he wasn't mad, 
And I'm taking his word for that. But he did sound pretty upset about it. He was trying, I, based off the tone of his voice, I could kind of tell he was trying to be stern. Usually when this happens, I my levels of stress kind of balance, go unbalanced sometimes. Um, just depending on how late it is when this dis these discussions happen and how much I'm really prepped for that kind of conversation. But I tried messaging him so then he called me, so... Anyway, I digress. The way he was going about it? Reasonable. He was worried that something bad was going to happen if things weren't approached properly in the circumstances that we were talking about, which I'm not going to talk too deep into just because that would be irrelevant to what I'm talking about. But he did have reason. By it, I, it's, it's not something that I would have been able to, on, nor on any other circumstance, understand like that fast. But he did have reason nonetheless. And I think it was also part paranoia, part trying to be a good parent kind of thing, which I completely understand. Um, I guess part of my mindset at the time, I was a little bit stressed, but I was also tired. Um, anyway. A Karen, on the other hand, would not act this way. They would go off of instinct, off of something that doesn't make sense. If my dad was being a Karen in this circumstance, he would, first of all, he would have been yelling. He would not have had a neutral tone like he did. He would have been yelling. And second of all, everything he would have said would have, like, no logical grounds at all. At least what he said did. I feel like some uh, details in, like, a conversation with a Karen is just, like, not processed or something. It's just like it's not there. I think a good a good example that unfortunately not a lot of people know about of a Karen would be a an individual who at this point in time it's been almost two it's actually it has been two decades since these events, but. I think a good example of an individual who'd be considered a Karen, if not worse, would be Jean Newmaker, I believe was her name. Not many people know about the events that happened that involved this woman. And I'm not going to go into detail about it, that's for another video. Probably for tomorrow, since it's actually a topic that I actually do it's something that I feel like is going to go into the History Talk series anyway. Anyway, I digress. I think Gene Newmaker would be a good example of someone who's kind of a Karen to a more extreme extent. Anyway, I've been rambling about this for almost 14 minutes now, so I'm going to leave this here. Karens are everywhere, and they are out of control. But these are my thoughts on Karens, I guess, in a way. Karens and, as I said, I prefer to call the men version of these Kevins. What, how do you guys feel about these kind of individuals? Uh, do you have anything that you think could have been added to what had been said about them already? Um, or how, how, what kind of experiences have you guys had? If you want to state either or, let me know in the comments below. Uh, Want to check out anything I, else I've talked about as far as discussion or rants go? Click the link on the side of my head. Or, if that's not quite what you're looking for and you want to look for something else, why not click the link on the other side where YouTube will tell you something that you might enjoy on this channel. Or, if either is not quite your, what you're looking for, but you think you might be able to find something else, check out the channel itself to the link that's right below my chin. Or maybe on it. Probably on it. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another.
Bye for now.